What's going on guys? Welcome back to the fourth video of Master in Raspberry Pi course. So guys, in our previous video, I show you that how you can install the Raspbian OS on your Raspberry Pi board and use your Raspberry Pi as a desktop computer. And for this, you need an external keyboard, an external mouse and a monitor. But guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can use your Raspberry Pi and get access terminal or SSH terminal on your computer using the LAN cable only. You don't require any external keyboard, mouse or monitor. Only using a LAN cable, you can get access to your Raspberry Pi SSH terminal and can use your Raspberry Pi with your desktop monitor, keyboard and mouse. So without talking too much, let's get into the video. So guys, I am assuming that you are following me with this entire series. So you had already installed the Raspberry Pi OS on your Raspberry Pi board. So I will continue from there. Now to enable SSH and use Raspberry Pi from Secure Shell Terminal or SSH Terminal without the external keyboard and mouse, we have to add a file into our Raspberry Pi SD card. So remove the SD card from the Raspberry Pi and connect it with your computer using the SD card reader. Now here you can see my desktop screen. First of all, we need to download a notepad editor. You can use the default notepad but I'll suggest you to use the Notepad++ for it. So open up your browser and search for Notepad++ on Google. Go to the website and download the Notepad++ and install it on your computer. Now open Notepad++ and take a new file. To enable SSH connection of your Raspberry Pi, keep it blank and save this file into your Raspberry Pi OS installed SD card boot partition with the name of SSH and without any files extension. Now SSH configuration of Raspberry Pi is done. Eject the SD card from your computer, then insert it into Raspberry Pi. Now take a LAN cable and connect to Raspberry Pi with your router using that LAN cable. Now power on this. This time we don't need any external keyboard or mouse or monitor. Now go to your computer, open up your browser, then go to router admin panel. Then navigate to DHCP connection and client list. And there you will get the Raspberry Pi IP address. Now take a note of that IP address. Now open up run and type cmd to open windows command prompt. Then type here ssh space pi at the rate, then the Raspberry Pi IP address and hit enter. Then type yes here and hit enter. And now you need to type the default password of the Raspberry Pi and that is Raspberry. Here you can see now we are in Raspberry Pi terminal. Now you can do everything in command line on Raspberry Pi. So guys that's all for today. Hope you liked it. Catch you later in the next video.